I'm thinking I should head back to Hightown and go take care of all this nighttime business with Fenris and Isabella and what have you. Dealing with these uh, guard pretenders, which is Hightown's version of a gang that are out on the streets at night. Um, they're not necessarily any worse than the other gangs we face, except for their home base. That's pretty nasty. I don't even know if I'll deal with that right now. I might wait a little while. Maybe take care of that right before we head to the deep roads or something. Notice I left uh, Anders behind. That that lone chopstick that he's swinging around. That uh, that toothpick that does like all of what? Two damage or whatever? <laughs> that default staff that he starts with? Yeah, that's nothing. That is... Uh, that's definitely not anything I need him uh, running out there to do any serious business with. So I'm going to wait till I find him a staff that I can equip him with. Right now, Bethany can do everything he can do. I, I essentially have their skill set the same. Be a point pretty soon where Anders actually has some, some pretty cool healing stuff at his disposal, especially from his own personal tree. His, what is it, his justice tree, I think it's called. Panacea, Panacea. That's really nice. He has a lot of, lot of cool buffs in there. Um, working in how you can actually get vengeance working with Panacea because uh, you can't use them at the same time. And in tactics, getting it to where he'll he'll switch back and forth conditionally between the two is is, is kind of tricky. Um, it can be done, but uh, personally, most of the time, I just like you know lying on him for his heals and uh, other support. You know, he can set up and execute a few combos of his own. You know, using the primal tree, he has some of the same stuff that uh, Meryl has at her disposal. He's pretty close to being a blood mage anyway, uh, basically. Well, you know, at least he's got the demon part down, right? What's up? Uh, yeah, anyway, that's that's all for later. Like I said, I need to get him a decent staff because a lot of uh, a lot of what they do um, feeds off of the staff. Although I don't really rely on Anders for elemental weapons. That's kind of Meryl's job because she's essentially a free battery for passives, you know, buffs. And Anders' job is to. Uh, heal and, and uh, shoot off a lot of lightning out of his fingertips. <laughs> That's his main thing. Notice how I, I kind of held up over here. I, I like going over there, getting their attention and, and bringing them to us. And that essentially kept this second wave from surrounding us in the middle of the fight. You just run into the middle of the square, well, you'll take out most of the mob at first, but when they drop out down around you, they're going to drop from the ceiling like in a big circle. And it's hard to get to all of the archers before they wipe your party. You have to cover a lot of ground. And so uh, I like kind of bottlenecking them a little bit. Coming off to the side, making them come to us where we dictate, you know, when and where we fight. I'm not a big fan of drawing them and just kiting them all over the city, you know, until you can get them down one by one type of thing. That's that's a little over the top. But uh, having the party hold up a little bit. Seems to be helpful, especially at lower levels. There'll be a time where we'll be able to go in, you know, pretty much Rambo. A lot of situations you'll have to. They'll throw some challenges at you, like uh, the base here for the guard pretenders. That puts you in a small area, and you will be surrounded. Why, hello there. Remember me? Your uncle still owes us. But I figure, why bleed a stone? You've done so well, after all. I've done so well because I've carved my way through half of Kirkwall. You really want to cross me? You spurned my offer and lost us some serious coin. I intend to take what you owe with interest. Or die trying, huh? Is it really worth it to you? A couple gold pieces for your life, huh? All right, well, I guess so. You didn't come to talk. You were drawing weapons before you opened your mouth. So, I guess it is what it is. Same tactic here. Actually, this one's a whole lot more manageable because other than her, and she has a health bar like a dragon, okay? <laughs> but uh, besides her, um, really, all of her followers have the short health bars. But the um, thing is, she can go around and one-shot your party one at a time. There's that. And she gets a free heal. Notice that. That is uh, something... I don't know if that's particular to Nightmare, but uh, there are several boss-level enemies that I can think of. Um, most of the assassins can heal once. Uh, some of the lieutenants can heal two or even three times. I can name a few bosses later on in the game that can do the same thing. You get them down to about a third or a quarter health, and uh, they can get about half their health bar back. Get up to about the three-quarter range, and then you have to just wail at them a little bit more, and then they can do it again, and sometimes even again. 
And eventually you're like, really? Is this endless? You know? A few boss fights come to mind right off the top of my head, actually. But uh, either pull them off on their own or, or get rid of the mobs as fast as you can and then deal with them last where, you know, four on one, it's much more manageable. But uh, I'll tell you what, it, it gets to the point where, in my opinion, the, the worst enemy, especially early on, is the assassins. The Karta assassins, the Templar hunt, uh, hunters especially, because um, they're just, they're, they're just not, they're stubborn. They're stubborn like a friggin, I don't know, like a mad pit bull. I mean, they're, uh, once they lock onto you, they stay locked onto you, and um, they can, they, uh, if they don't one-shot you, real close. Playing a kind of a squishy rogue here, uh, notice I'm... The only thing I'm putting points into, I went to look in there and I, I didn't find anything. I was just curious at nighttime. Maybe a few new codexes or something popped up. Maybe some new loot. All I did was found the uh, the lightning rune pattern for like the third time. <laughs> that was that was it. Didn't get anything for it. It was just there. I guess it's kind of a, a bug. But um, yeah, those those assassins they uh they can they can not only heal at least once right, but they can essentially one shot you. They can one shot me. Um, there'll be a point where at least Aveline can take that kind of stuff. Without too much of a problem. Here's Isabella. Notice the chain lightning got all of them. I have um, my mage is set to trigger chain lightning when enemies are clustered with at least two other enemies. In other words, when they're three or more together in a bunch, um, to throw that and it will it will basically hit everybody. Now, if you have another status effect on enemies um, like that, like say a bunch are mobbed around um, Aveline. And she staggers them. I think it's stagger that chain lightning triggers, and then it's disoriented enemies that stone fist triggers. But um, yeah, if they're staggered and you hit them with chain lightning like that, you'll probably kill all of them outright. But that requires Aveline to set them up for that, which uh, I think she does with. I think cleave. Maybe it's cleave. Don't really. I, you know, I need to look back in the skill trees again. It's been a long time. I'm kind of doing this, you know, just on the fly, so to speak. Trying to remember as I go how I used to set everything up and stuff. It's it's coming back slowly. But anyway, we'll see some cool combos um, going off uh, amongst my followers that they're doing on their own. You set it up in tactics properly and, and your followers will take care of a lot of business for you. Or it will definitely help you. They'll they'll hold up their end of the, end of the bargain, you know. Alright, so there's a mob that spawns up here too, and uh, what's really cool about High Tan is usually you can get an extra two, extra one or two mobs of these uh, these guard pretenders to come at you, and essentially just means leaving the area and come back, and sometimes a mob that you just killed will spawn again, triggered by another mob, but you know, I, 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 I don't know that you can come in here and do it all in one sweep, really, ever. I think some of them overlap, and so, uh, anyway, like I say, you can get a, get a few extra mobs and some more XP out of it. This is a uh, this is a spawn point. I don't see any here either. Okay, if I if I go up top there, up by the uh, the mansions, then um, it's gonna trigger that thing with Fenris. I think we'll go ahead and get Isabella out of the way. This is this is probably the harder of the two. Might as well do it now. Good spot to save right here, actually. There you are. Been here for hours. Ada hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. Maybe he forgot, and we can all go someplace nicer. That's the wench we're looking for. Got her. All right. Uh, pay close attention to Meryl's um, mana bar. Okay, notice how it's almost empty. She is sustaining our elemental weapons. She's sustaining her um, blood of the first. Um, let me think. She's sustaining her um, stone armor right now. Okay, um, there's going to be a point where she has Wrath of the Elven. I think it's called. And um, when it comes time for her to sustain that also, that's going to be 100% of her mana, and I don't know if she can pull that off. But uh, right now, she's uh, that may be something I have to trigger manually without the problem. The problem I've had is that she can... 
she can activate them, but if she ever gets below 50% health, which she will, because once she starts putting out some real damage, she's going to draw some real hate. And Aveline's not always going to be able to get there, you know, draw the hate off of her. And so if she needs to heal, she has to deactivate Blood of the First to heal. That's the big problem. Um, you're not allowed conventional heals. Uh, Anders can't heal her. She can't heal herself with a potion. She can't even use the, um, I think it's, uh, it's the life drain thing. It's a, it's a passive where you basically have this sphere where you suck life off any dead body as you walk around type thing. Um, that doesn't even work off the spirit tree. The only thing that'll heal her a little bit is an upgrade to Wrath of the Elven, which allows her to heal like, I don't know, 1% or something. Um, so it's, you know, and if, and if she wants to activate that also, I'm either going to have to do it manually or figure something out. Because like I say, if she deactivates Blood of the First to do something, if she casts one single spell, she can't ever reactivate Blood of the First after she heals because the mana's not there to do it with. She needs to have a certain percentage of her mana. Of her total mana pool, right? So anyway, it, it, it becomes a problem, and I see that the uh, the tactics get confused in there. Anyway, all right, so... Helping Isabella with these mobs. Who calls for a showdown in the chapel? <laughs> Chapel is uh, dangerous a place as anywhere else. This is what second time we've had to come back here, right? First it was traitorous ass Carl giving up uh, Anders, and now it's Isabella calling somebody out to a duel, a showdown at midnight in the in the chantry. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head, and you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Okay. Your threats end here. Nobody's gonna hear anything. As a matter of fact, I've heard enough. Treating those people like cargo? Yeah, okay. You die for that, piece of crap. Okay, now this just... It's the reinforcements. It's, it's the archers and the assassins and you friggin' name it. And they're all clustered. And uh, I could pull the party upstairs and draw a lot of this away. I could. Um, kind of want to see how this goes. This is a this is a small taste of what Night Night Lies offers. The guard pretender base. This is just like basically a small example. Not as many enemies. The one thing the guard pretenders don't have is the assassins, though. I'll say that. But um, here. My fault, not getting rid of the assassins as soon as they spawn. Um, you see what happens. Yeah, that was Aveline almost one-shotted by an assassin. And there's two of them running around, and it's... Yeah. Okay, and that's two down. But look who's still standing. Friggin' Meryl. Doing her job. I'm gonna see if we can pull this out. Reavers hit hit slow, but they hit hard. Um, you can actually dodge their attacks. Um, the animations are actually true when it comes to these guys. Okay, now as long as Meryl keeps her distance... Um... There we go. I'm just getting rid of the ads. We'll deal with Hater in a second. Yeah, there goes Meryl. She did good for a minute. But not getting the assassins down first. I was dealing with the archers, true enough, but not getting the assassins down first was, was really kind of my bag. And so, uh, you yeah. know. Cool thing is, is Isabella is indestructible right now. If not, I would, ha I would have to kite this guy around by myself. Because he could probably two-shot me. I don't think he'd get me with one hit. Not a normal hit, anyway. 
We'll fix to find out if I can take a hit. Uh, maybe three. Three shot me. Unless he hit me with a critical. Yeah, I'm gonna get my dog up. There we go. Come on, puppy. Okay, and this is what this is where it comes to kiting. Out of stamina. The thing about the rogue is you'll get stamina back if you keep attacking, but you have to keep attacking. And I can't just stand in this dude's face and uh but I can shed all the hate real quick. I'm not sure what Isabella is doing, if anything. I think the only numbers you see coming up are my dog. Isabella might be doing something, but uh, it's not much. All right. Like I say, that instantly sheds hate. Uh, my dog can probably draw some off of me. Not much. And you don't have any more help. The help you did have is the reason my whole party's down. Yeah, that almost killed me right there. Yeah, that's probably going to bleed out. This could have gone a lot cleaner if I'd have gotten the assassins down, and I, I could I could have reloaded and tried again. Cause... But hey, how to how to salvage a win out of a fail? I guess <laughs> if nothing else, right? <laughs> nice. Should have done that a long time ago. Yeah, you should have. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. Simple as that. What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castillon has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. To be honest, I think he just wants me dead. But that would be letting me off easy. You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic. That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. Did you end up in Kirkwall because your ship was destroyed? There was a storm. The ship ran aground on the reefs near the city. I managed to make it to shore. Most of my men weren't as lucky. Poor sods. I knew some of those men almost ten years. Oh, balls. What's this about you freeing slaves? I was asked to escort Castillon's cargo ship. I got a bad feeling about the job partway through. Boarded the ship to find slaves. Nearly 200. Elves, humans, children even. It was sickening. They paid Castillon to take them away from the Blight. He took their money and sold them into slavery. Even I know that's wrong. Didn't expect that, did you, Guardsman? Who is Castillon? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. But the jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He paid well. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway. Thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. Yeah, I may have just changed my mind. I may, I may be remembering slowly but surely why I romance Isabella every time. <laughs> might as well go ahead and level her up. Get her her... Uh points and any gear that I can give her and stuff. Start, actually, envy, empty out the inventory just a little bit. Uh, 
All right. Um, notice how she conveniently left out the part about, you know, that her ship was fighting another ship when they, uh, when they crashed on the rocks or whatever before the storm wrecked them. You know, they were, uh, they were slugging it out with, with another, another ship. So, uh, yeah, she, I mean, conveniently, more than conveniently left that out. Just a note. Helps to uh, keep your ear open at the hangman. Uh, the bartender shared that little bit of information with us. Little rumor that uh, you know I heard uh, before that ship crashed that uh, it's fighting with another ship. It might come into play later. All right. Well, if there was a codex, it would have been in there, and there's not. So let's get out of here. Okay, now with her, um, kind of like a melee version of Varric, obviously. But, um, cool thing is, she has some, um, almost tank type abilities. The thing is, if her, if her defense is high, alright, and the dogs can get called off of her before they actually get to bite her, so to speak. In other words, what she can do is she can, she can sick dogs on herself from across the battlefield. So if she sees someone messing, with, say, Anders or Merrill, she can basically uh, give them a challenge. It's essentially a taunt and draw them to herself. But at the same time, if you have Aveline drawing hate and so on and so forth, a lot of time that attention will be redirected. At least, you know, you kind of hope it works that way sometimes. But uh, if nothing else, she can kind of take it and get away. So, you know, we we'll want, uh, we'll want her to have stealth available, backstab, you know, things like that. And... Uh, I haven't spent a whole lot of time with her. Normally, it's Varric, you know, for for obvious reasons, because Varric is Varric is my my homeboy. He's my he's my Garrus of Dragon Age, <laughs> I guess you could say. And so I have him I have him around ninety percent of the time just because. But um, uh, she can she's similar. She has a lot of the same thing Varric can Varric can do. She can uh she can goad and she can um, draw the heat off of allies around her. Um, so, like, essentially, she can, um, this is it, across the bow, all right? And she can essentially draw hate to herself um, for, for a particular enemy. And then she could essentially turn right around and use the one where she releases the hate off of herself and anyone around her, like Varric has. She can use both of those kind of in tandem and keep the heat off of herself and anyone else. And uh, hopefully, you know, Aveline will be drawing it to herself. Like she should be. And she'll just be getting better and better at drawing the hate and taunting and stuff as we go along, so. Anyway, she she's uh it's 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 pretty useful how you can uh kind of gear her skill tree. Plus she can put out her sheer damage. Set her up with a good set of daggers and you know the right skills and uh she can do her thing. She's no assassin necessarily, but uh she can do the whole duelist thing pretty well. All right, and she can also uh, trigger her own combos. In fact, better than us, because the computer gonna, is going to know when a uh, an enemy is set up. You know, if an enemy's staggered, the, the computer will know it immediately. And uh, if uh, Isabel is anywhere near them, she can uh, pull off an explosive strike. And so you don't have her spamming it. You don't have her using it all the time, just under that condition. And so, you know, you manage her stamina pool, so to speak. Don't have her using twin fangs on just any old mob. Use it only on elite enemies or higher. You know, the lieutenants and stuff like that. The ones where she can actually uh, do some real damage. Be own, her own version of assassinate, I guess. All right? And if anyone's bothering Anders, use across the bow. Draw that enemy to herself. And at some point, we'll also have the one where she can, uh, you know, disengage enemies from herself. And uh, wh what we'll do is we'll assign her with back-to-back -back also. To where she can uh, ally up with, um, say, Meryl, or ally up with Anders, and hopefully the mages will be in, in a general proximity. So if she uses back to back, that means she'll be essentially stuck to that mage, all right, most of the time. Basically, um, what you do is you, you set, kind of like how I have Varric, you set a, find a certain mage, and you say that mage, any condition, 
use back to back. So every time that the, the the ability is available, um, he needs to get you know right up there next to that particular mage, and then um, any time that mage is being attacked by say a melee or a ranged attack, then he needs to use that uh, that one that one ability where he uh, disengages enemies, where he you know sheds the hate off himself and anyone around him, right? And so you know using those things in tandem, well, you can do the same thing with her. She can do the same thing. Not only that, but she can intentionally draw an enemy away from another, you know, say Meryl or Anders or Bethany or whatever, and then turn around and have that enemy disengage. I think it's really cool. All right, so, anyway. Varric has his uh, Bianca, and she has her daggers. I say, she doesn't have Assassinate, but you give her Twin Fangs, good set of daggers, good set of skills, put all the points in the right spot, and... Uh, She's good. She's good to go. I give her a little more health. Maybe throw some in the constitution. Give her some belts and rings that buff up her health some. And you know this is it because right here this is going to trigger this with Fenris. So I'm not. I'm not going to cross that invisible line. We'll start that with the next one. We'll go deal with him. Put him in our party and uh, uh, assign all his skills and stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe? Click that button on top for more Dragon Age Two. Click the Dragon Age Two in the middle, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all take care. Bye bye.